a about CRBSI in a tunnel catheter. Whenever a patient presented with the signs or symptoms of CRBSI, first we have to look for three signs whether the patient is presenting with the shock or is there any signs of exit site infection that is the new onset tenderness at the exit site or the presence of pus or erythema at the exit site or if the patient is having any metastatic infection that is a new onset murmur or any distant infective manifestation like in the bone osteomyelitis or the pneumonia this kind of metastatic infection if it is present this have to be considered suppose if patient present with the shock then the catheter have to be removed suppose if the patient is not having any of these thing then antibiotic empirically can be administered that is the vancomycin or the septazidine antibiotic log have to be given after the blood culture have to be taken after the blood culture report depends on the blood culture report the antibiotic can be considered for 3 weeks if none of this manifestation is present suppose if any of this manifestation is present suppose if the patient is having hyperkalemia or the patient is having pulmonary edema in these cases one dialysis can be given through the same infected catheter and subsequently it have to be planned for removal next suppose if the patient is having exit site infection then the catheter have to be removed and if the patient is asymptomatic after the antibiotic therapy for 48 hours or if candida or staph aureus is not considered in suspected in the infection then the new catheter can be inserted at the different site and tunnel catheter can be inserted at a different site after 48 hours next suppose if the patient is not having exit site infection patient is having only metastatic infection then also catheter have to be removed and patient became asymptomatic after 48 hours of antibiotic or if the patient doesn't suspect candida or staph aureus is not grown then a new tunnel catheter can be inserted after 48 hours in the same site also suppose if the patient is having more than 48 hours of antibiotic after this if doesn't improve clinically there is no improvement then a non tunneled catheter is preferred and if the patient is having candida or staph aureus or pseudomonas they are less likely to respond to antibiotic so the catheter have to be removed and the antibiotic therapy is minimum for 4 weeks so this is about the catheter management in a tunneled catheter who are having CRBSI first look for shock if the patient is having Presenting with shock, there is no other option, the catheter have to be removed. Or if the patient is having exit site infection or the metastatic infection. If none of this is there, we can go with antibiotic and it can have to be given for minimum 3 weeks, depends on the blood culture. And in case even if the patient is having exit site infection or metastatic infection, if the patient is having a hyperkalemia, pulmonary edema or any urgent sign of hemodialysis one dialysis can be given through the same infected catheter then we can plan subsequent steps if the patient is having exit site infection 
and if the pain catheter have to be removed and after 48 hours of antibiotic if the patient response occurs a new tunnel catheter can be inserted in the different site not the same site suppose if the patient is having no exit site infection only metastatic infection then also the protocol is remains the same remove the catheter after 48 hours you can pain a same uh, catheter at the same site Suppose if the patient doesn't have any response after 48 hours of antibiotic or if the patient is having infection with candida, staph aureus or pseudomonas, these are the resistant organisms which is unlikely to respond. So a non tunneled catheter have to be planned, a minimum duration of 4 weeks antibiotic is required. Okay, thank you.